All right, today we're gonna to do a video of the farm, a little winter tour of the farm. There's a little bit uh, snowy out, but you can see what we do when it's cold outside. Uh, out front, you saw my pickup out there. Here we have one of the uh, John Deere R-Series tractors, the 8335, or 8345. Um, we got this one last year. It's got all the bells and whistles. Bought it with 700 hours on it. Don't know how many hours are on now, but it's in here getting a new second monitor for when we're planning. We don't have to keep switching over. Uh, this is our new to us liquid fertilizer applicator. Bought it on big iron. Anyway, got it for steel, but we need to do some uh, bearings and stuff on it. We usually do in hydrus, but with all the moisture this year, we don't know if we'll be able to get it on the ground. So we got this back up in case we need a side dress or something. But yeah, not a very big shop, but for us, it'll do for now. Yeah, let's go check out the other machinery shed. This is the smaller of the machinery sheds, it's right by the shop. So we keep oil and stuff in here. Got Guido, the forklift, the free forklift. Other storage. Mom keeps her lawnmowers in here. We have the other farm truck that is set up for tip servicing right now. We have combine parts. We have our seed tender that is massive. But most of our fields are close to home, so we just park it in the yard and fill it up. It's got a hydraulic auger on it. That's pretty handy. Have a little tractor here. I bought for some reason. Probably shouldn't have bought it. Uh, our auger for our auger wagon. Had some welding done on it. And yeah, we'll go see the bin site now. Here on the farm, we have the bin site. It's really big. Kind of a hodgepodge of stuff put together that my dad has worked on over the years. It used to be really small and then it's gotten really big. And we just kind of piece things together to make it work. Come on, just look at it. Okay, here we have the pits. These are no longer used. We have loggers coming out of the ground right over here. We have since taken them out. And these pits are spaced like this because we used to have uh, dunes and they were like double pup trailers behind our semis that we used. But we got rid of those. We have regular semis now. We took these out, they were kind of small, and now everything that comes in the farm goes to this drag. It's real quick, you can unload the semi in a uh, pretty decent amount of time if you're not waiting here long. And then, you go, oh, there's a squirrel. Come here. There's a squirrel. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Here he goes. <gasps> Look at him. Mr. Squirrely doesn't fall off the top, but he'll probably be fine. But anyway, this is our big leg. It's probably the newest addition to the bin site. This leg, the drag, and this, our biggest bin here, was the latest. We kind of had to shove everything this way. My dad really wishes a big tornado would just come through, smash the whole thing so we could start over. It's, it's really a hodgepodge of hanging augers and weird setups and whatnot, but I don't know, our bigger bins have auto sweeps. This one's still full, we're kind of emptying out the corn, so uh, we we'll probably get 60 trucks a week through here unloading corn right now. Um, 
all the electricals run underground so there's nothing exposed around the bins. This is, I mean, as you can see, just more, more hodgepodge of stuff. We don't use this anymore. We used to clean our grain one year. We had a lot of cracking. We had to get all the dust out of it. We all have fans on the bins right here and here. Out here, there's all concrete under the snow here. It's, I don't really see it, but we like to keep things all clean around here. And all of our uh, augers come in these hodgepodge of uh, metal uh, collectors here, and they all have. Uh, if you can come over here, you can see they all have gates on them so we can clean out the dust so they don't rust out. I like our elevators here. I don't want to do that. There's probably corn in it. But, I don't know. So, we're big on keeping things clean and rust free around here, even though this is not painted. We don't want stuff to rust out. And here you go. We can see where we change all the tubes from all the way to the top. There's a big rotating device up there, if you can get all the way up there. We just pull on these to pick which bin we want the corn to go into. Here's our uh, big dryer, shower dryer. It's a uh, big Mayer 2400. It uh, keeps up the combine real nice. And we got uh, two giant fans in there with giant electric motors natural gas so usually pretty cheap to run here we have uh Most of it's on auto, so things start and stop themselves. The truck drivers can come in and out and not have to, uh, so we don't have to be out here monitoring everything. All this stuff. And here's what's left of the old bin site. It's an old baling, I think. We just load out of it, and I think this one's still full of corn, too. Film over here, we can see inside of the bin. So in here this bin has been cleaned out. We still need a sweep. And this is a this is an old sweep. Plan on putting a uh, power sweep in here next year so we don't have to run this piece of junk. Power sweep is a little more easier to use, a little more dangerous, but the inside of grain bin. There's not much to them. When it gets windy, they go down. So. But, yeah. Fuel barrels. Here are fuel barrels. We have off-road diesel, semi-truck diesel. We have the, this is the 8410. It's our loader tractor. We have wide set wheels on it for in the uh, summer when we're shredding. We don't flip it over in the ditch. We have it sitting here because we have the blade on it. It's too much snow. And we can plug it in right by the fuel barrel. Um, next we'll go out to the big aluminum building. We can see another shot of the bin side over here. This is our biggest bin. And this is the one that was uh, we went inside of that was cleaned out. And we have a well motor over here for the gravity irrigation in front of the house. And we have our box scraper over there. Green junk trailer, and then this is farm pickup. We have the old hog buildings out here that are used for <laughs> putting our heads in because we are kind of lacking space right now. Uh, but they work for now. Um, yeah, let's go in here. Here we have the hydrogen machine, orphan bar, 16 row. 
Um, we have another one back there that's on the hiller setup right now. This is the stumper. So in the, usually in the spring before we plant, we'll go through the field of bees. And that gets the root balls out. Sometimes we have to go through the cornfields twice if the ground's really hard. Uh, sometimes bean fields even. And here's our planter, John Deere planter. 16 row box stacker. Pretty basic. Not too many frills. We got some uh, getter openers on it. We like those a lot. The air they seem to work real good for us. Demco side quest tanks. We like those. Really big. Kind of a pain to put on, but it works. We have the semis back here. And the Wilson trailers. Automatic tarps. Manual gates. We like our Wilson trailers with the belt drive gates. And here's the hiller. When we're in the summertime, we go out there, put the ridges in, and back here we have a spray tank. And uh, kind of use for endros and stuff. And this, well, we put this in the spray liner. It's got the uh, 13 speed in it. Not too fancy at all. A good run truck. And over here we have the Kenworth. It has the automatic in it. Don't really like it, but almost anyone can drive it. And during harvest, when you're looking for harvest self, you kind of need anyone you can get. So that's what we got it for. Matching trailer. So we got some engines over here. Engines. We got a John Deere four cylinder diesel, four sixty. Another John Deere diesel. And we have a 454, 460, and that about sums it up out here. Not the nicest building, but I guess it keeps the sun off of everything. And used to be for corn, you can see here. That's about it. I'm going to do this video a few days later and uh, realized it didn't do an outro. I kind of left it at a just kind of left it off there so uh just wanted to say uh that was farm you know it was pretty basic there's a lot of stuff i didn't cover but uh there'll be more to come later when it's not so snowy and cold and uh one of the things i realized is i used the word hodgepodge like four or five times when i was doing the bin thing so apologize about that and there's a couple of little other mistakes in that I'm sure you guys saw or if you didn't that's fine too um but if you like the video uh you like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. And then uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them all. And then, uh, yeah, I got some more videos to come planned. And we'll see where that goes. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a great day.